Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and of course, welcome back to the Redlawn region, or I should say the Redlawn map, for another episode of our RP. Now, while we continue to expand our company into this map, here's one of the cool and interesting things about it. So, back on the highway hauling maps, this truck right here was kind of our shop slash, like, show truck build. It was kind of like a, like a, like a truck to, you know, kind of to represent what the shop was about but at the same time also look really cool while doing it and we need to do a couple of things out here on this map now we've got our our house our barn but we also need a shop location and we also need another shop truck because you know if we need to jump back into say you know we need to make the drive back to the highway hauling area you know I want to be able to have another shop truck out here now I've already picked up a new shop truck and what we're actually going to do is we're going to head out to my friend's shop and we're going to throw some new parts on it. And then once we throw some new parts on it, for now, we're going to haul it back to the house. And then after that, we'll probably start looking for our new shop. Once we find a new shop, then we'll start to get some more uh, work trucks and company trucks and kind of start to expand the business a little bit. We may also bring the Yeet Mobile back out here and really, again, start to expand that, uh, that, that whole shop scenario in into this map. So without any further ado, let's start this thing up, hook up the trailer, and head out to pick up our new shop truck. Sounds so good. It sounds so freaking good. All right, let's make our way down here where the trailer's chilling out. Back this thing up. And as far as the hitch height goes, it might work a little bit better with the truck on a higher suspension level, but for right now, I think we're all right. Not backwards. Let's go. All right. Uh, it might be a little bit more level if we raise it. Yeah, that's a little bit more level. I dig that. It's kind of where I'd prefer for it to sit. All right. Let's go ahead and make a right. We'll get out on the main road. And let's not take out our mailbox while we're doing it. I have done that way too many times, and I've bought way too many mailboxes. And it's like, what have you replaced the most in the past few months out here? Oh, you know, just mailboxes. Like, can you imagine, like, going back to, like, Home Depot over and over again? Or back to Lowe's over and over again? Because you keep running over your mailbox? Oh, dude, look! There's a fox over there by the sign. That's so cool! That's so freaking cool. I love that. Now, fortunately, my buddy's shop isn't too far out of town. And like I said, I'm going back and forth between, you know, do I do I try to look for a new shop location out here? Or do I maybe, I don't know, do I maybe put in a bid for this shop? Now, I will say the road to get into that shop is pretty torn up. But fortunately, they, uh, you know, they took some chainsaws and kind of cut a little bit of a route through the trees. Just in case you don't want to head through the, uh, like, the gigantic mud pit. Now, you know, I mean, you can if you're in a really capable truck and you're feeling spicy. Take it through the mud pit. Like, don't worry about it. It's fine. And there is our new, I would say, shop truck slash show truck slash work truck combo and it's a k3500 a single wheel k3500 so let's get this guy backed in we're not going to load it up on the trailer straight away though because i want to get that thing into the shop and see what it's all about now that i now that i've actually like come back here though i'm curious if uh if the owner of this shop is interested in renting out one of those like hangar style buildings so let's swap into this K3500 and see what it's all about. Now, before we get any further into this build, I will go ahead and let you guys know that this truck is part of Lime's Donator Access Program, and you can find more info about that on his Discord. But let's fire it up. Oh, dude, it sounds insane. This thing sounds freaking wild. All right, let's bring this thing into the garage, and uh, we'll go through some of the possible upgrades that we can do, because I'm sure... There are quite a few. All right, so let's get that garage door open and head on inside. Now, not only is this thing incredible looking, but this particular state of it, you know, like the fairly stock-ish state of it, can be improved greatly. Now, we're starting out with a 10.3 liter C10. We can go up to a 1,275 horsepower 10.3 liter C10, which is like a modified, tuned, and I think we'll go with that. Now, gearbox-wise, we have the 5-speed, the fast, and the heavy tow. I think for this 
particular application, I may go with the heavy toe, especially when you consider what we're going to be using it for. And then suspensions wise, this is kind of a weird one because, you know, you end up wanting to use the toe suspension, but at the same time, you know, out on a map like this, I would like something that's a little bit more flexible, but I don't know. I tell you what, We'll go with the short lift for now, and if we need, you know, more weight-bearing capacity, we'll switch it up. Now, let's see. Tires. We're starting off with the 32-inch stocks, but here's the thing. These stocks go up to a, what, 44? Then you have these 35-inch stretched. Oh, God. Oh, they, these are... These are definitely interesting. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about running them. They are stretched out by, like quite a bit. I don't know how I feel about that. Here's the thing. The design of the wheel itself looks really, really good, and obviously they've put a lot of effort into, you know, the design and the build of those wheels, but I just wish the tires themselves were wider. Like, is that bad? Like, I just genuinely wish the tires th uh, themselves were wider. Now, you have some boggers on this thing. You have some, ooh, are these IROCs on, like, what, forces? Maybe. Those look sick. You've also got the USD stickies. There's all sorts of, like, wild approaches that you could take with this truck. All sorts of absolutely wild approaches. These swampers look incredible. They look amazing. Got the AX tires, got the cut boggers, and, of course, the T1s, in case you wanted to turn this thing into a mud truck. Now, i tell you what we'll do. We may have a couple of different approaches for this thing, one of them being, obviously, like, the show truck approach, and another one being the off-road approach. And so I think what we'll do is we may go with these first, and then from there, we'll kind of, you know, we'll see what it can do, we'll see how it works out, we'll see how it looks, and if it really does, you know, get in the way of the performance a lot, like I'm kind of concerned it might, well, it might not, I don't know. So let's go ahead and, oh man, what size do we want? Well, now I will say though, uh, I think these look better. I think the 42s look better. Now, let's see. Long toe strap, because we're going to want that. Gooseneck hitch. We might throw it in there later. So, stacks. And then, let's see. Uh, ooh. We can do the large exhaust tip, too. I think I might do... I don't know. Probably the big exhaust tip. Yeah. Cowl hood. No hood. So, you can see that gig... Wow! The size of the turbo on that cat engine is nuts! Let's see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the cowl hood, but I'm glad that we got to get a look at the, um, like, though we got to get a look at the freaking engine and everything. All right, box cover. Oh, that's kind of cool. I dig it, though. Let's see. Box cover. Uh, ooh, KC roll bar, blacked out KC roll bar, toy up. I don't know if I want to go with any of those, but at the same time, okay, so we could do, we could do a weighted front end, but I don't know how I feel about that particular bumper style. Let's see, Archon Victory in red or black or silver. I think we'll stick with the red for now, and then we'll go from there and see what kind of color combination works best. Here's the thing, though. Unless we paint the truck like a really neutral color, I feel like the red itself is probably the main color that's going to work, although that's a lot of red. But here's the thing, it kind of clashes with almost every other color, unless it's like a gray, or like a white, or a silver. I'll tell you what, that's a lot of red, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll throw beans on the dash, and I don't know, this may or may not be a, you know, like a forever build on this truck. It's probably not going to be a forever build, but I don't know, we'll kind of feel it out, we'll go from here with it. And we'll see if we want this to be, you know, a shop truck and a show truck or just a dedicated show truck. So let's start it up and we'll get it on the trailer. Now let me move you right up here. Back it up real quick. I'm trying to figure out a good loading area. Actually, probably right there, like right there by the garage door. So let's actually move the Super Duty. I don't know why the Super Duty was like... Like, why I put it so far back there. I mean, actually, it makes sense. I, I put it back there to keep the entryway to the garage clear. I don't know why I forgot that. All right, let's back you up. 
You know what's also a really interesting thing about this region? Sometimes when the weather is like super dreary out, sometimes it just magically changes and all of a sudden becomes really clear and nice out. Except for when it doesn't. But you know what's really nice? When it does. Like that. So let's pack you up real quick. That should be close enough. And then now, we can lower that ramp down. We'll stop the engine. And now let's see if this ultra-wide, ultra-stanced show truck can make it onto this trailer. Well, I know it can make it on, but can it fit? Thing is heavy, though. I mean, it fits. Just. <laughs> it, it just fits. All right. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. Tilt deck is coming down. Packing the truck up. And now it's time to head back to the house because remember we don't have a shop yet we will get a shop soon out here obviously you know we have our shop back on the highway hauling area and i really do want to have a shop that's a bit like that's really you know useful to us available to us but we really need to go shop shopping uh for lack of a better term oh dude that's a that's a sick photo though that's a sick photo though oh <laughs> that's awesome I love the way this thing looks on the trailer. I love the way this thing looks on the trailer. Now, granted, you know, it's going to look even better when it's, you know, being driven and when it's not on the trailer. But, dude, like, I am about that. I'm going to have, like, a little bit of an Instagram moment for a second. But let's see. Oh, dude. Dude. Clear sky. Wait, 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 wait. Afternoon five? No, hold on. Ooh, that's nice. What was it before? It was like, eh, that's a little, mm, let's do afternoon five. That's, that's got a really good, like, a really good color set for, like, what I'm trying to do. But, wow, that, that looks really, really good. I'm happy about that. That's something I would put on the, uh, on the shop's, uh, Instagram page if the shop had one. Which I probably should create now that I think about it. So let's bring, whoa. Dude, that thing really is heavy. It made this, like, it made the rear axle of my truck jump off the ground. Like, what the heck? And at the very least, I know that that wheel and tire package might not be the most off-road focused. But hey, at least it'll get the uh, the shop noticed at truck shows. And that's got to be worth something in terms, of, uh, in terms of shop business, right? I mean, we have a fleet of very, very... I should say, objective-based, uh, well, not even objective-based, but, like, you know, really purpose-built off-road rigs, and, I mean, this thing right here, it's definitely, it's definitely something that'll get attention, that's for sure, so, I mean, that way, that way, people may remember the shop by way of this truck, but, you know, that doesn't mean it's the one that has to do the recoveries, although it could if it wanted to, it could if it wanted to, I would just be insanely nervous about it, like, popping a tire off the bead, when you drive over, like, the tiniest of pebble off-road. All right, let's back you in. We are putting together a pretty good fleet of trucks, though. I'm, I'm happy about it. Easy. There we go. Now, as far as where I'm going to park this, probably in front of the, in front of the barn over by the, uh, by where the A&K is. And you know what? I think we'll stop this guy right here. We'll unpack and we'll get the K3500 off the trailer. Nice and easy. Oh, dude, that looks so good, though. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. I love this thing, man. I absolutely love this thing. Is that, is that, is that bad? Like, I don't know. I freaking love this thing. It's such a... It's such a, like, a change from the norm. You know what I mean? Like, it's such a change from the norm for me that, like, you know, part of me is like, oh, that's so, like, different and weird. But the other part of me, I'm taking another photo. But, like, the other part of me is like, yeah, it may be different, but, like, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Oh, will it fit between the barn and the house? Eh, not quite. I mean, it might come close, but here's the thing. I feel like it would get stuck. Yeah, it would get stuck. All right, so let's put the Super Duty back into position with where it needs to be. And I'm going to drop the trailer off right here. And we're going to get ready for our next mission. Because there are some jobs coming up that uh, we've literally already been informed about. We just haven't, like, headed out to handle them yet. 
and we probably should because you know if we if we keep people waiting too long they probably won't call the shop anymore so that's not what we need but at this point i am definitely excited to see how this new shop truck slash uh show truck turns out for us now if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys next time talk to you all later